sorry, girl, I got a ghost Yeah, you know this ain't the old me Try to keep it on the low Hello all, this is Coy from Dirty Bird Services Well, I've been looking forward to getting a very good in-depth product review out on something is very 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 exciting to me to be able to get this out so i promise the good folks at ww manufacturing i'll be getting this out soon got some hours worth of usage on it and now i'm going to get this product this product review out to them so a uh, little history on where this come from this is this is the ww manufacturing uh king of all spades is the actual model name of this thing it's not i'm not joking around it's actually called the model it is king of all spades I believe the part number is KS15, I may be, I may be mistaken. Um, retails, I wanna say for one, it was 109, something like that, maybe a little bit more. Money well spent for good old fashioned American made product made right here in the United States of America in Bridgeton, New Jersey. WW Manufacturing, I believe I've got this name right, so Peter and Ingrid, don't get too mad at me if I say this wrong. Company was started by a gentleman named Walter Lesch, who was a German immigrant came here with German engineering. Um, incredible mind has been making some outstanding products since 1952 when the company started. Since his passing in 2002, his, his children have taken it over. I had the occasion to speak to uh, Ingrid when I called up and I ordered this. She's a, she's a fantastic, fantastic person, great salesperson, easy to deal with. Got this thing boxed up and got it right over to me really, really quick. So I highly suggest if you're in a professional landscaping, you are looking for that, that one tool that does everything. This should be it, okay? Here's a couple reasons why. I start looking into what this tool is and exactly how it's manufactured. You may not be able to see it, but it's a straight edge. Perfectly straight edge right here. It is contoured at the top. It is sharpened on the top side, what they call a self-sharpening, because it's beveled. You start using it on against rock, it's gonna continue to wear itself off and continue to sharpen itself made out of high grade air, aircraft steel, not uh, chrome molly or mild steel or anything like that or fiberglass or anything where you know it's gonna, it's gonna break or gonna start rusting. I mean, it is a piece of equipment, it is a tool, you take care of it, it will last you a long time. I have had this thing in mud, I've cleaned it, washed it, brought it back inside the house, stick it in the garage, uh, no rust, it's done fantastic, whereas even some of my other shovels rust terribly just after cleaning them up and getting them stuck back in the, into the garage where they go. The interesting thing about this, all welded. I'm gonna assume it's TIG welded. It looks like it's TIG welded. All the welds are, are incredibly strong. It's got a solid, solid D-shape handle up here. Everything is welded here. Welded down on the back end, and it's welded so well that you can even see the welds coming through on the very back side, okay? Incredibly strong piece of equipment. I have had numerous other spades Product wise, um, I've had all the other ones that you can that you can you can get them at Home Depot, you can get them at Lowe's, um, any of the other professional models that you can get. I don't want to go out and name names to dog people, but the orange and green. Um, I've used those as well, and I've broken some, I've bent some. This is the real deal. Okay, so if you're looking for that one tool that does everything, this is kind of the one that you want to look for, okay? Um, it's, it's pretty easy to spot, all chrome, no colors. So if you want to get one, call them up. I, I had some difficulties finding a dealer direct out of, I'm in the Dallas area, kind of hard because they don't, didn't seem like they had any dealers down here, but I called and ordered direct and got it sent right here. The interesting thing about this tool, what we have used it for primarily is grading and um, sloping and setting edges on bed. So when you set that nice edge where it goes, where it's just grass, goes straight down to dirt, and then you wanna grade it on out and push your mulch over to it so it looks professional, this is the tool for you. You don't have to buy an additional edger. This is it. You stick that sucker down on the ground, pop that edge out, go straight, make you a nice edge on your bed. You can even uh, grade it, get your slope out of it a little bit here with this, outstanding. The other thing, used it just today, removing a large, a fairly large holly um, out of a driveway. We're talking a holly that had a drip line of almost probably two feet across. Uh, thinned it out, dug it out, very, very deep down in the ground. This thing cuts through roots like a champ. So it's got enough weight behind it, grab it on that side handle, slam it down in there, put a foot on it, hop on it, you're gonna cut right through that root. Needing a root cutter, 
probably on some of the bigger ones, but if it's just an average size bush or, or, or a little bit above average, shrubs, bushes, you're gonna cut right, th right through this thing. Um, very little maintenance on it, none whatsoever, hardly that you can see. It's, it may be hard to see. Uh, we'll get in a little bit closer shot here in just a minute. And there's, there's a nice rubber pad that's up here on the right side. So now depending on which side you step on this, there's a rubber mounted pad on this side. So when you got a wet boot, you're not going, you know, rubber to metal where you're gonna, your foot's gonna slide off your rubber to rubber. You got a nice rutted, gripped up piece right here that you can either move from right or you can move it to the left side. Fantastic. So we were running around in mud trying to get all this done after two days of rain. Foot never slid off, never had any issues whatsoever. The biggest key point to this entire thing that I can tell anybody, it's a fantastic piece of equipment for one big reason for me. You can pry on this thing with immense force and you're not gonna bend it, okay? I, I've broken shovels, I've broken spades, I've broken a lot of orange and green stuff, broken many different things. The, the, the strength of this item from this company is unbelievable, okay? Um, putting it up against a, a walkway, trying to get way down in and pry a bunch of dead roots out after you've already extracted a brand or brush, a piece of brush or, or a, uh, a shrub. You start trying to pry backwards. A lot of times you're gonna start getting a lot of flexion in this stress point right here where this thing is bent. It's already angled and bent a little bit. You're not gonna bend it. I'm about 220 pounds. I can put all 220 pounds into this item right here and I can put it 15 inches in the ground and I can take off running that way and it's gonna pull it up. It's not gonna break the handle, it's not gonna bend, and I guarantee you will not be able to do that with any other spade, shovel, or other digging item, okay? It will not happen. So, fantastic piece of equipment. We're gonna get some up close on this thing so that you can kind of see how good the construction is and um, you can kind of see some of the welds and how this works. Now, there's a million different options. If you wanna call up and get a hold of Ingrid and just ask her for a catalog, they have a bunch of great stuff. We're going to be getting their insulage fork here just in a couple weeks. Start, try to start using that. I plan to convert all my shovels over to WW Manufacturing shovels. Uh, you just, when you're, when you're digging and you're putting all that stress on them, this is the way to go. So you can go to Home Depot, you can go to Big Box Store or Lowe's, you can buy one of those for 30 bucks, 40 bucks use it one time on a big heavy job, bust it, or you can just go ahead and spend $100, $115, get the one that's gonna last you a lifetime of service. You're never gonna have to do anything to repair it or get another one, okay? So it's not wasted money. So we're gonna get some close shots in here of this thing, just um, handheld, gonna get you some nice shots of it up close and, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, just so you can get an idea of the quality that this thing is, uh, is manufactured with obviously you can kind of see you've got a nice bevel and ground edge right here fairly thick steel um, you can kind of get an idea with uh, with my with my hand there just about how big a how, how big a piece of metal we're working with uh, straight end I'm talking perfectly straight okay and you can see it's belt it's contoured at the top uh, some of the welds that are on this thing you're looking at some quality welds nice welds with the uh, where it brings a shaft down to the blade all right, on the back side, you can see where the welds have actually come through. Um, getting good penetration, so you know it's not going to be it's not going to be bending and flexing there. The uh, step pad right here, I guess step pad, what I'll call it, outstanding little device, helps tremendously. It's just bolted up here. Looking down on the shovel, you can see, you know, quality welds again. Um, you can move that pad from one side to the next with relative ease, depending on which you use your, you, you know, which side you pr you're preferenced on. Again, the D-ring handle. Again, you see good quality uh, welds. No issues here. Big, thick handle. Now they do have, and I wish I had noticed this before I actually before I actually ordered this one. They have one that's called what they call the comfort grip, where instead of this being just here, just this, it's actually got a, a rubber, it's actually mounted in rubber, and then it's welded, and so it's got rubber up here on the top. So it would make it kind of nice, but I mean, if you want just an all around, just kind of a workhorse shovel, workhorse spade, this is the one you want to get. So aside from all that, there's not really a lot more to talk about on this item, guys, but 
with with the lack of a detailed review being on YouTube, I figured I would try to get this out because it is it is an outstanding product, and I can tell you right now on any job that I go on, this is the first thing in the back of the truck. Um, minus that in my wheelbarrow, if somebody were to steal two of those those two items, I'd probably be heartbroken and be a little upset. Everything else I could probably re replace and have no issues with. So, outstanding piece of equipment. You get what you pay for. Always remember that you get what you pay for. So if you're going to buy a cheap piece of crap, expect it to perform like a cheap piece of crap. You buy something that's uh, that's a, a good heavy built item, then um, then you know you're going to get that kind of performance. Now I want to throw a little disclaimer on here. I know I mentioned a few things, a few items that uh, have broke on me in the past, and as a uh, as an as when I first got into the, into the industry, you know you want to go out there and you want to buy the best items you can buy. Um, I bought items from multiple companies, not any one in particular, but two of the, the bigger, more predominantly well-known um, agriculture or landscaping companies that, that, that have items that, they, that professional landscapers use. I've broken, the, I've broken um, the, the direct competitor to this from, from one of those companies, and the other one, I broke a, just a regular shovel. So... Uh, I can honestly tell you this one right here, it's going to be with me for the life of my business. I don't see it, I don't see it ever, uh, ever having an issue. It's going to be there. It's just that, it's just that well built. So uh, no knock on those other companies. I mean, if you guys have something that is, that can compete with this, by all means, get in touch with me. I'd be glad to TNE it for you. I promise you, because I put these suckers through their paces, 220 pounds. Um, I was not afraid to try to break this damn thing today getting on this and trying to dig that bush up so i was like if it's going to break i'm calling ingrid and i'm going to get him to ship me another one that's that was kind of my attitude about it i put everything i had into it and this sucker it was not going to budge it did not break for anything and it didn't bend so if you want a good piece of equipment this is the way to go right here so outstanding job my thumbs up for ww manufacturing uh please call up and get a hold of uh of Ingrid or Peter, and they will get you taken care of. Good old made in American, made in the USA. So outstanding product.